I'm David Schreier, CEO of Distilled Identity, and I'm really excited about the fact that our AI biometric software is helping financial institutions and governments solve really big problems around financial and digital inclusion. We started this journey years ago. I've been working with Professor Sandy Pentland, Alex Pentland at MIT, and Sandy and I have had this ongoing conversation about computational social science on the, on the one hand, something he calls social physics, and the fact that people's personal data, including data related to who they are, their digital identity, is right now not under their control, and the systems that generate that information generate a lot of bad data. If you've ever had a problem with your credit score, you had a, an issue or an error in your credit file, you know exactly what I'm talking about. If you've ever tried using a credit card and had it declined, you know what I'm talking about. There's a lot of bad data floating around out there. Furthermore, a lot of very large tech companies have started vacuuming up personal data about people and monetizing it. And part of how they get that data is by providing various content and services. So there's an expression we use, if you're not paying for the product, you are the product. There are a lot of issues with society that are cropping up with this consolidation of personal data and the monetization of it. So governments in Europe have responded with the General Data Protection Regulation, the GDPR, which gives people back control of their personal data. Now people own their own information. That's an exciting idea, but a whole new kind of infrastructure needs to be put in place in order to actually make that a reality. In the developing worlds, there's an even bigger problem, and the UN has recognized this problem. There are one billion people in the world who have no legal existence whatsoever in the eyes of government. These people are primarily women and children, and as a consequence of not having an identity whatsoever, they end up being trafficked, exploited. There are a lot of problems attached to that. More broadly, three and a half billion people in the world are not part of the formal banking system in, in a meaningful way. They're either underbanked, meaning they have to pay very, very high interest rates on loans if they can get a loan at all, or they're unbanked. They have no bank account at all. Another failure of our current identity system. So combining these ideas of computational social science, of new promise of AI that I've been discussing with Professor Pentland, and this issue of creating a new model for identity where you control your own information and you control your identity, we put that together with distilled identity. We're creating new systems that better understand you and let you get better access to goods and services. So that was a really exciting idea. We started talking to financial institutions and we're starting to have some really interesting discussions and business agreements come into place. And then I was approached probably two months ago by, by a business partner of ours, someone who's working with us on deploying this new model of identity. And they said, you need to meet Lucia Gallardo. Now Lucia is a fascinating entrepreneur and I'm sure that the good folks at Hub Culture will link in some information about her company, Emerge. Lucia and I began talking about the problem of refugees. Remember what I said about those people, that bottom one billion person part of the pyramid where people who lack a legal identity? At the very bottom of the bottom, you have refugees, displaced persons. There's 69 million of them. It's a major crisis in Europe, in Latin America, and increasingly we see the, the adverse societal consequences of these displaced persons. So what can we do to help? Well, let's bring them into a more developed country and help resettle them, integrate them into society, provide jobs, housing, etc. So there's a big effort underway uh, from UNICEF, from the UNHCR, and other organizations to help refugees resettle. Well, the issue is if you show up and you're fleeing war or economic uh, uh, circumstance, you may have uh, no identity papers. You certainly don't have a credit history. So getting integrated into society becomes a real problem. So Lucia is building a business and a program called Homeward that helps refugees integrate into places like Toronto or, or Paris or Amman, Jordan uh, when they're fleeing crisis. In order to do that, she needs to construct a new digital identity. And Distilled Identity is going to provide the biometric layer that lets all of these other services be possible. Now we can very securely offer assistance to people, we can reduce fraud and abuse in uh, aid programs, and we can create future potential for refugees to become productive members of society by helping them with jobs assessment, uh, job skills, uh, uh, training, job placement, and then uh, give them access to the financial system by allowing them to, to set up a bank account and even get a loan. Uh, so we were very excited this year at Davos in 2019 to announce our partnership 
with Emerge and the Homeward Program to deliver uh, this, this promise of resettlement to refugees. So when I think about why I started this company and, and what the opportunities it offers, uh, I'm very excited by the fact that, for example, we can help people in countries around the world now get better access to financial services. But many of us inside of Distilled Identity are either refugees ourselves, resettled into the U.S., or uh, children of refugees. So my family uh, arrived at this country uh, with, uh, you know, maybe a thousand dollars to our name were refused entry in California, had to live in Mexico for, for five years before my father was able to, to move to, to Forest Hills in New York. So, so we've lived the refugee experience ourselves, uh, and, and so we have a lot of empathy for what's going on now. What we'd like to see is that we don't repeat the mistakes of 50, 60 years ago, that we actually create a more viable framework for bringing people out of crisis and into uh, a more productive society. And so, so I was really excited when we had this opportunity to partner with, uh, with Emerge around Homeward. And, uh, and that was our big event at Davos this week, which was, it was announcing, announcing the, the partnership and the launch of the Homeward program. And beginning in, in April of 2019, we're actually going to be live with our software delivering services. As usual, we've had some fascinating conversations at the hub along the way and the convening of people who are building not just identity, but an entire new digital fabric for society is something that we're very honored to be a part of. This is Dave Schreier, CEO of Distilled Identity and lecturer with the MIT Media Lab, associate fellow with Said Business School, University of Oxford, reporting to you from uh, the promenade uh, in Davos, uh, Switzerland. Hello.